The Browns losers to the Baltimore Ravens 24 to 10, Mary Kay. But really, uh, the big news is, as you reported, that the Browns fear wide receiver Corey Coleman could have a broken hand. Uh, he left the game after a hit. I saw him go into the x-ray room, and now their worst fears might be coming to fruition. Yeah, I heard that he probably does have a broken bone in the hand. Uh, he also broke his hand last year, as we all know, and he was out for six games. He never really uh, rebounded from that. He only caught... 33 passes, three touchdowns last year. So uh, it would be a big blow to the team if Corey uh, is out for any length of time with a broken hand. As we know, the receivers are struggling as it is. Poor Deshaun Kaiser needs all the uh, the targets and the weapons he can find. And for Coleman, you mentioned it. He struggled so much last year uh, with the injury. And he talked a lot in the preseason about learning the playbook and, and kind of getting to where he needed to be. Seemed like he was getting a little more comfortable. Had a good game last week against Pittsburgh. Not so great today, but now. I mean, if he is out for an extended period of time, this is really going to set him back. Yeah, I mean, fortunately for them, Rashard Higgins kind of came through today, uh, came off the practice squad yesterday, and he had uh, seven catches for 95 yards. So I think he will get more playing time. Uh, but, yes, big, huge setback. I mean, Corey Coleman was the number 15 overall pick last year. It was time for him to start stepping up and making inroads towards a Pro Bowl when you're picked that high. And uh, so it would be huge if he's lost for, for a long time with a broken hand. Uh, some other things that happened out there behind us today. Dejon Kaiser uh, had three interceptions, also had a fumble, really looked like a rookie quarterback today, took a step back from what we saw last week. You know, look, there's going to be struggles with him, but the bottom line is he missed some throws today that could have really helped this team. Yeah, one of those was in the end zone to Richard Higgins. They were only down 24-10 to 10 at the time. They could have brought it back to 24-17 at that moment. He throws behind an open Higgins in the end zone, gets it picked off. That took the wind out of the sails. Uh, so after he comes back from the migraine headache that he left with in the second quarter, he threw two of his three picks after that. Uh, he also was stripped sack once, so it was – just a really long afternoon for Deshaun Kaiser against this really stout Ravens defense. But again, he's not getting a ton of help from his receivers. And that is, you know, obviously losing Kaiser going to Kevin Hogan, that set your, sets your offense back as well. So, you know, they did okay when Hogan came in, but then we saw him kind of turn the ball over as well. Defensively, also, I think a step back today, especially after those turnovers. This is a defense that prides themselves after turnovers. They call it sudden change, getting off the field, and that didn't happen today. No, and you know what? I mean, they, they really struggled on some of the big plays, the deeper plays. They gave up a 37-yard run right at the end of the first half that led to a touchdown. Uh, so the defense just wasn't able to come through and continue to get the ball back. They picked off Joe Flacco one time, uh, but he also had – two touchdowns and again uh, you know he made a lot of big plays it wasn't the defensive performance they were hoping for including last week they really shut down the run this week they gave up 100, 136 yards the Browns are 0-2 they're 0-2 in the division now uh, they head to Indianapolis next week but all those good vibes from last week after that Pittsburgh loss when people were at least feeling good about this team kind of out the window right now oh yeah and also Jamie Collins with a concussion so you know you've got one of your best outside linebackers now his status for the Indianapolis game is also in jeopardy full coverage of everything today at cleveland.com slash browns